I ain't talking to you without any sound again. <laughs> Oops. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? That's weird. Okay, weird. Oof, oof. Well, basically, all I was saying was hello and welcome back to uh, live stream land. We're here on Truly Bedrock. Things have changed a bit. I've been fiddling again. I'm not going to lie. There's been more fiddling to come as well in the future. But uh, as for right now, we're just going to play some Truly Bedrock. Oliver's here, so I'm obviously I'm going to be trying to be slightly quieter than normal. I'm going to do my best. Ooh. Hello, Milnsley. Thank you very much for your 14 month subscription there. That's absolutely fantastic. And you might notice something different about my tea today. I got a bit of jip <laughs> from the last stream, live stream for uh, someone noticed that I kept a tea bag in it while I was uh, while I was drinking it on stream. And they were pointing out how disgusting it was to leave the tea bag in. Um, the reason I do that, <laughs> I don't like drinking tea with the tea bag in it. But I get the stream starts, right? I hit the hit the button that says start stream and then I, I like put the countdown on. I've got, right, okay, I've got five minutes to go boil the kettle, get my cups of tea ready and I want them piping hot for the very start of the stream. So like right as it gets down to two minutes, I'm pouring them in there. I pop my tea bag in the milk in. It's got no time to brew and like to, to stew in. So I'm like, well, I can't sit here like staring it like crazy. Otherwise I miss the beginning of the stream. So I just leave the tea bag in and it's nice and stewed by the time I get to drink it. But obviously I can't take the tea bag out while I'm on the live stream. So I just, you know, you got used to it after a while. So I've I've made a point of it slightly colder than normal tea this time because I've had to wait for it to brew. But now at least don't have to worry about the tea bag. JCB says, that's gross. It's not gross. It's fine. You get used to it. It's absolutely fine. It's not a problem, mate. Not a problem at all. I'm looking for a mob farm for Bedrock, says Chance McLean. Well, I've got one that you could copy off my Truly Bedrock one, but there's loads out there. there are a lot of the Truly Bedrock members, pretty technical. I'm sure they'll be able to help you with that. Can anyone tell anything different with the camera today? Does it look any different or any better in today's stream? Because I, I've, um, I may have managed to get my... I bought a... A long, long time ago, a few years ago for work, I bought a 4K uh, like digital video camera. I hardly ever used it. I used it a lot for work, but I've hardly ever used it other than that. And I completely forgot I had it. And I, <laughs> I was sorting out one of the rooms upstairs and I came across it. I'm like, oh, it's my my decent camera. So I've, uh, I'm now using that as a webcam instead of my old phone. So it should look a little bit better. To me, it's grainy, says Fancy Novel. Oh, well, it's not that good then, is it? It is... The out, it's outputting at 1080p, but then it's going into the stream, which is at 720 for whatever reason, and then it comes back up to 1080, and then the stream takes it back down again to 720 because I'm broadcasting at 720. So it's it probably is a little bit grainy because of that. And look, thinner says Carol. I've been on a diet, mate. Thinner's good. I work with thinner. This is good. Bet Seek says, I, grew, I brew a lot of tea and use a thermos to keep it hot. Works great. I got that here, but again, no time to stew it. So this has still got the tea bag in as well. Oh, man. I leave herbal tea bags in, to be fair, says JCB. Exactly. Exactly. You do it with green tea. Why don't you do it with normal tea? It's fine. First stream, sorry, says Dog, dog Adoba. <laughs> well, I no need to apologize. Don't worry about it. The camera added facial hair. Well, I've actually had a shave since the last stream, although like it's more of a trim than a shave, but I suppose there's probably more detail in it now. It's all the push-ups, says Carol. I'm not sure it is. <laughs> I'm not sure it is. Stop shaking the table or mounting the camera on something else, says Michael Switch. Is it wobbling? I am, and that's the last thing I'm waiting for for my uh, for my setup is one more mount for the camera at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, it's tie-wrapped to the uh, my monitor mount, which is sat on my desk. So as soon as I wobble my desk, the whole thing goes. And because it's a HD camera rather than like a, a mobile. There's no stabilization in it, so it just wobbles with it. So sorry about that. Might be a bit of wobble. Thank you very much, Aces4958, there for subscribing for 11 months. You've now had three shout-outs. What do you think to the bottom of the screen, the little bit at the bottom? There's also a bit that pops up when I change the song. It should tell you what song I'm listening to on Spotify now. It only does it on this big wide screen. Obviously, uh, this screen will disappear when we get playing the game. No, just, no sound alerts, says Mike on Switch. Oh. Uh, probably because I've been fiddling Mike. Hmm. 
Uh, why wouldn't you have sound alerts? Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can fix this for you. One moment, please. Hmm. Sound alerts. Maybe if I turned those on, that would that would probably help. Stream stickers might help as well. Yeah. Try it. Try it now. <laughs> Get it to do some sort of sound alerty thing. It should be fine. Dark. Ah, uh, a Rick Darkness says, "How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing?" No big chicken, thank you, people. Says Michael Switch. No. Well, there you go. <laughs> Hanku played actually. Foxy noted. Did you hear it? Did you see my? Don't know. I froze for that moment. What? Fail. Says Michael Switch. You still didn't hear that? Oh, jeez. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. I should be. No. Hmm. Hmm. One moment, please. Why would that not come up? I'm. I'm just. Gonna fiddle about. <laughs> I don't know why that wouldn't come up. It should come up. Oh, what have I done wrong this time? Oh jeez. I've totally broke it, mate, haven't I? It's all broke. I don't know what I'm doing. I should get the sack. Came up on screen, just no sound. Yeah, I'm not sure why the <laughs> is the tactics get more subs during the stream, says somebody whose name I can't read. Yes. No, it's not. Why is that working? I think I've got a button somewhere I can test those things, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, jeez. We're going to have to do that, aren't we? Let me open Streamlabs. Can't be getting you to be uh, doing all of this for me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, UK Granny Gamer. You didn't, uh, did you not hear the uh, text to speech then either? Foxy broke it against his lofty. I have broke it, haven't I? I'll quite, I've only got to broke it, mate. If I go to the Twitch. I'm still here, by the way. I haven't disappeared. I'm just, I'm just pressing buttons. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gone anywhere. <laughs> just checking something. Hmm, it's showing on my, this is all of the different sound things, right? Anything that's got a number one next to it or ticked on the number one should be coming out to the stream. So if I test a subscription like that, it should come through. Woo, this is a test. But it's quite clearly not coming up there, is it? Jeez. Jeez. Hmm. What if? Hang on, where is it coming through on here? It should be coming through to you on... He did not hear. Keep it family friendly, says um, somebody. Still no sound, says Lofty. Finally tried Infinity Dungeon, says Nate Cove. Since we have no sounds, will you just have to be perma puppy cam today? You can have puppy cam. You can have puppy cam as a, as a, like a freebie. Is it possible to share your computer sounds? Well, they, they, according to this, this is going through to the stream. You see, this this here says it's going through to stream. That's the stream output. That's what you're hearing there. And if I test it, right? Ah, oh, geez. I've just shut Minecraft. <laughs> well, if I hadn't have just messed it all up while I was doing that, <laughs> you should have been able to see that on this screen... Oh, you can't see anything because we're on the wrong... Oh, geez. Hang on. I'm making a right mess of this, mate. That one there. If we go to my normal one, there we go. You can see what's going on now. So this this system is where the sounds are coming from. If I do the test subscription again, look, that shows that it's coming through. And this shows that it's going to the stream. The stream output 
I can see it going through. If I click on that, that's what I hear. Oh, and I don't hear it. I can hear the text to speech though, just not the the link. Oh yeah, I did hear it that time. Hmm. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, there's one other way I could potentially do this. Bear with me one moment. Bye, guys. I'm still here in case you think I'm disappeared. I've not disappeared, by the way. <laughs> I'm not disappearing. I'm just I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible. Bear with me. Okay, so I've added another one on there. Let's see if you can hear it now, okay? What about now? Hear it this time? Foxy No Tail just subscribed. This is a test. You heard it. Okay. So for some... Well, that should be coming through anyway. That's so weird that that's not already coming through. Okay. Well, that, that's fine. I just have to... Um, well, we'll just have to... <laughs> put it with it for now, the way it is. Right. Let's go back to oh we've just been raided by mr beardstone he's come at just the right time if he'd have come a few minutes early we might have lost all of those guys sorry about the stream start mate and welcome welcome raid. we got what why have we got so many purple geese in the chat what's going on there's purple gooses everywhere mate where's my servers what's going on with all these purple geese what did you fix uh I've, the the audio mate it's all broken where's me Resource pack's gone. What's going on here? What's happening? Something's not right here. It's all going wrong today. It says I've got it on. It's not actually added it. There we go. Oh, jeez. Payback time, purple goose, purple goose. Well, I'm I'm quite happy about it all, to be honest, mate. Not a problem for me at all. You can purple goose me all day you want. All day you want? All, as long as you want. I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Beardstone says, lol. Welcome, Raiders, says JCB. Right, I'm going to actually have to now increase <laughs> the font size of my chat because I minimized it thinking, i got good eyes. I'll be able to see it. Now I can't read any of the chat. There we go. Right, we can finally get on with what we're doing today. And that is, of course, going to be working, hopefully, on the inside of our castle. I've decided that I'm going to I'm going to start it on stream. It's something I didn't really want to do on stream. I wanted to do it in the video because... I wasn't 100% sure what are we going to be doing with it, but I think we can work through it together. I think it'll be absolutely fine. Won't be a problem at all. Love your add-ons and videos, says Crazy Halves. Thank you very much. You heard Foxy Hotel goose him all day want, says Avoided Law. I don't understand, mate. I'm very confused. You broke game sounds, says Hanko. You're not getting game sounds either? Really? Why are you not getting any of my sounds? Can you, are you getting music? Have you got any music? So are you getting no music either? No music? <laughs> what? Oh, nice. <laughs> That's because I'm a moron, peeps. <laughs> Allow me to just go and turn those other things off a second that I've added that will now argue. There we go. Can you, you should be able to hear me now. <laughs> you should also have music. You should also have game sounds and you should also be able to hear the subscription noises. Foxy Everything no working tail. okay? Just subscribed. <laughs> This is a test. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. It's confirmed. Where's my... Where's my... Where's my... Uh, oh, my, 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 my. a few face palms on me. Jeez. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> Basically, what it was, for any of you wanting to know what an idiot I am, 
You see this monitor and output here. I had it on monitor only, so I could hear it perfectly, but you couldn't hear it at all because it was on muted output. Because <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> so good at life. <laughs> I should just be allowed to do everything for everybody all the time because I always get it right 100% of the time. I'm not embarrassed. You're embarrassed. Shut up. This stream gone perfectly. You don't know. Just think of all those people watching the VOD. They won't know. And then they'll finally get there and it'll be a relief. They won't be annoyed about it all at all. It'll be fine. i got too many things in there. I ain't got enough room for all the other stuff. Are they full? Are they empty? They're empty. Okay. What we got going on over here? We've got Prismarine, Dark Oak, more Prismarine. Oh, jeez. We've got all sorts of junk. We need to have a tidy up, really. We need to get sorted out. But it's hard to get sorted out because uh, I'm lazy, basically. Stream timer, says Millsy. I got rid of it. I got rid of the stream timer completely. It's gone. No more, ah, no more stream timer because I'm sick of people telling me I forgot to put the stream timer on. So I thought, ah, I can solve this problem. I just get rid of the stream timer. You can still do the uptime thing in uh, Streamlabs as a command for it. So you can literally, you don't need me to have it on screen. It just takes up wasted space and it's something else for me to forget. <laughs> you can't forget what's not theirs, is my switch. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Citrus Things says Twitch already has a stream timer. Exactly, Citrus Things. Exactly. You're, you're, you're on my wavelength now. You're getting it. Getting the hang of this whole live streaming business. Will you make mob heads and mini blocks lockable for servers so people in survival can't move them and break them, Foxy? Uh, it's not possible in Bedrock, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be lovely, that. But not possible, mate. Sorry. Sorry. Well, maybe it is possible. Certainly not possible for me, but uh, there are much cleverer Minecraft people than me out there, so I'm sure somebody would be able to do it. Yeah, Bedrock Bedrock Edition misses out on quite a lot of the things that Java Edition has. But the thing is that most of the things that you're asking for are on Java Edition are mods. Bedrock Edition doesn't have mods. It has add-ons, which are not mods. And I'm not going to go into a big old rant and explanation of what all that means because you can google it made and find out for yourself but yeah um if you see it on java edition don't assume you can put it on bedrock edition because we had, don't have the capacity to to mod things basically just don't exist on bedrock we got we got lots of flexibility but not enough really oh yes and before we get cracking on anything look at my elytra they're nearly broken let's go and get those fixed <laughs> Mike on Switch says, day counter is reset. It's been zero days since the last uh, Hey, look, it's not my fault. I'm a complete idiot, okay? I didn't do it on purpose, mate. I'm surprised we've not had any um, face uh, overlay cam things today. Are we all bored of those already? Did we use them all in the last stream? Are we fed up with those now? You can bind the break sneak thingy with a tool. You can bind the breaking sneak thingy with a tool, says Dog Doe, but I don't know what that means. Do what, mate? <coughs> bind what now? Bert and Ernie! It's time for you to have your dinner, mate. There you go. There's yours. And there's yours. You're welcome. F3 and Dreaky, that's a good one, says Fantasy Novel. No one's got any points less, says Carol. That could explain it. And where am I going? The wrong way. No, nope, no points. That was my last lot again, says Hanku. Oh, man, you're just going to have to um, keep watching. Keep thinking your dog is a plate of roast chicken and parsley. Hmm. Yeah, don't go. A puppy cam very small with this new setup that I got, but I didn't want it taking over the whole screen, you know. Especially with my ugly mug on here as well. Just get rid of your ugly mug and just put the dog back on. You liked it then. Shut up, you meanies. You missed the twins, says Hanko. Oh, did we get a twin one? Okay. Time for me to go beautiful. Are you ready for this? Um, press the right button. Boom. OMG. I'm upside down. But I'm beautiful. It's all good. Everything's good in the world now. Oh, man. I'm so beautiful. I'm just so beautiful. Hanko, redeem face feed filter, says uh, JCB. I know. I've done it, mate. Jeez, I think there's a bit of a, a delay today. It's probably because I've been fiddling. <laughs> it shouldn't be. So small, this is funny. So, do you want, well, you can, there's a big cam highlighty thing. You could always use your stream points to do that. There we go. Someone's just done it. Literally just done it. 
So there you go. Avoided law. Right, we got so much junk. We got so much junk we don't need. We need to get rid of mini junks. I'm going to sort out these chests and then we're going to get building inside that castle. That's a beautiful lady. Wow, I went full screen on my screen ages ago. Wow, I need to refresh my page. Wow, this is such a massive delay. Like 20 odd second delay? That can't be right, surely. It's a huge delay. No, no, it's better now I've re refreshed. If you're having a big delay, refresh. And you'll have slightly less of a big delay. The twin works much better with the 4K camera, says Hanku. Do you think so? They're, I don't know. I think also maybe the position of the camera. I've moved the position a bit so it's a bit more straight to my face. I do feel I still go a little bit bald at <laughs> the sides. But yeah, it's hopefully a little bit clearer altogether. A little bit clearer altogether. What more could one ask for? Right, we want stone things because we're building inside a castle. Castles are made of stone, mate. Not actually. Don't start. They're all, they're all made of stone. <laughs> Skafone says, oh God, what I walk into? You walked into the most beautiful live streamer in the world, mate. <laughs> Hello, Foxy. What are you doing today? I have the crown, so I'm I'm not doing my best. I have the crown, so I'm not doing my best. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. What does it mean? You have you have the crown. Oh, we're um, we're building in castle today. That's what today is all about. <gasps> have I I've got, I have no auto clicker anymore. <gasps> I'm going to have to actually. I'm using my new mouse. Ah, oh, oh, I feel sick not being able to click all of those things out of the box at light speed. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is bad news. I get too busy for Twitch for a couple of weeks and all of this happens. What in the world has happened to this channel, says Jack's dad? Well, I go beautiful and then someone takes a picture of me. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. I can't be any more specific than that. Right, we're going to need lots of stone brick because the castle insides, I think the majority is probably going to be stone brick. Now, it might not all be stairs or slabs or, or the ones we might have some chiseled stone bricks i think we'll have some normal stone in there as well and it'd be nice if i could find some andesite kicking about somewhere as well so i've had some ideas about what i want to do but not i've not really thought it through 100 percent. but it's mainly going to be very much like the, everything else in this dark oak with the um yeah, with the, with the stone, but I'm also thinking of adding some carpet colours in there as well. So we want some andesite. I think some polished andesite might go well as well if we can grab a little bit of that. I guess we should just go and start slinging things together and see what happens. It's weird. I think it actually suits you, says uh, somebody's name. I can't think I can read out, but I'm not going to because it doesn't look very friendly friendly. I'm not going to read it out. I think it suits me as well. I think I make really, really good looking... Young lady. <laughs> That's enough of that now. Jeez. Not having it anymore. Leds. Yes. Okay. I'll call you Leds if I remember. I'll try. Try to remember, mate. I'm not very good at remembering. What, what was I supposed to remember? Oh, jeez. I've already forgotten. But I did not get to ease in like the rest. I just see Foxy's on and wham. Right at, right at once is Jack's dad. Well, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't help it. I've also, do you know the how the you've got the option to make everything big, like me big or puppy camp big? And last live stream, I said, oh, I can't make it go to what it was on previously. I figured out how to do that now, so it should. Once the time, like I think you've got it for is it five minutes, and then it will go back down to normal or something. I can't remember the time limit on it, but yeah, you can do that basically. So inside the castle, we're going to need some ladders and scaffolding in here. Put there we go. We've just had big puppy camp one. Boop. Now we're nearly big. I can't reach. <laughs> can't reach. So I'm thinking around the outsides, we have like a walkway. And it'll have a balcony over this middle bit here. Certainly for the first level. That's the first level ceiling, if you like. That second level might just be a full ceiling all the way across and a, a completely separate floor. I've not decided yet. And I'm thinking on the inside of the castle, we'll have a like a stone walkway. Not at that level. We'll probably drop it down a block. And then like carpeted, almost woodland mansion -y, but with red carpets coming along. We can put some bookshelves and things like that in the wall to make that look more interesting. 
And then pillars as well. I'm thinking we should have pillars going up to the balcony around the top. So I think the first thing we should do is just, and I know it's going to look gross, but just make the entire floor just completely and utterly stone brick slabs. And then that'll give us something to work from. Having said that, no, maybe not. No, actually, first thing we should do is the balcony around the outside. I'll make my mind up one day. Don't worry about it, Pete. Foxy, there's been a face filter. Has there? Oh, we got wig and sunglasses. Okay. Um, there you go, mic on switch. Make, make you happy now. Covering up my face as much as you can. I see what you're trying to do there. Jeez. Subtle, subtle mic. No worries, I'll just, I'll adjust. But hello, Foxy. Hello, Jack's dad. Welcome. I'm, I'm sorry for the, the suddenness of my face in your streams. It, it wasn't on purpose. It was a total accident. It, it, I didn't do it. Uh, someone forced this webcam upon me and said, here, look into this while you're trying to play video games and talking at the same time. And I was like, I can't do it, mate. It's too complicated. Make me all sweaty. And he's like, just no, do it. So I did it. Now I've got a wig and sunglasses on. And I don't even own a wig. What add-ons are you thinking of making? No, making or thinking of. Oh, someone's talking to someone else. Forget it. I'd, I'll just keep out of that conversation. No to do with me, mate. Nothing to see here. Foxy plays wise. He says, you look like you're going to rob a bank. Really? Not sure about that. <laughs> I think I, I look like a pretty obvious bank robber. Who was it? It was the woman with the... <laughs> <laughs> with the big wig and the sunglasses. Oh, yeah, she's easy to spot. <laughs> oh, dear, it's Lloyd. Not having a good time with the Enderman there. Jeez, Foxy looks like he wants to talk to your manager. You say I look like a Karen, Pickles. Jeez. That hair really triggers you, JCB, says Love Will Meet you. No, it's the one with the hair in the mouth. In, hair in the mouth. Oh, yeah. The hair in the mouth. Driving me nuts. Been getting in my mouth all day, mate. That or you're about to audition for Some Like It Hot. I don't know what that is, Herding Cats. What's Some Like It Hot? Is this TV that I've been missing out of because I don't watch TV? TV. TV. Don't watch TV either. What do you... What? You... You... What? No. Oh, I've run out of inventory space already. I wish people didn't call entitled people Karens because my grandma's name is Karen. She's not an entitled person, says Sidra. It is. Um, there's a bit of contention, isn't there, about the whole calling people Karens thing. I get it. It's uh, If it was your name, it wouldn't be very nice to you. But what you've got to remember, with stuff like that, with especially when it's memes and jokes, it's not intended at your... Was it grandma, did you say? Yeah, it's not... <laughs> no one's calling your grandma this and the fact that it shares the same name don't worry about it there's loads of things in the world that have um the same name or the same word as something else and mean completely different things so you know there's a lot more people than adolf hitler in the world that were called hitler or that were called adolf that doesn't make them all evil horrible dictators does it so Bruh. you know just don't worry about it basically scaphone slapped a bruh sticker Really, bruh? Really, bruh? It's a true story. It's just like your mama joke isn't about your mama, says Pickles. Yeah, exactly. But I probably wouldn't use it to <laughs> tell a your mama joke to somebody because I think that's what they would think. Unless it's a piglin and I'm displeasing it. Fantasy Mall says, look away now. We have a lady here with facial hair. Well, that's all right. Nothing wrong with that, mate. Anyway, speaking of which, let's get rid of the wig and sunglasses. My parent company is called <laughs> Bimbo Canada. It doesn't mean I'm a bimbo, says Ron. <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon comedy movie, says Herding Cats. Oh, I've not seen it. I haven't seen it, mate. Sorry. I'm rubbish at not seeing things. Right, people confuse me with heavy plant vehicles. I don't care, says <laughs> JCB. Yeah, my... Um... One of my friends from school, he was one of my best friends for a long time, was uh, his initials were CJB. And um, his, I think his brother was called James. Basically, his his dad did own a uh, plant, like plant and hire company. They would, they sold JCB vehicles or hired them out at least. And uh, his the initials for his kids were uh, like abbreviations, not abbreviations, what it is, like 
almost JCB, but not actual JCB. And I just thought that was that was a little bit cruel. But, uh, <laughs> it's fine. Oh, we got a hydrate, says uh, Foxy plays YouTube. I shall drink it now. Smurf head. You missed the Smurf head. I'm on it. I'm on it. Just keep reminding me. If I miss it, keep reminding me. It's because I'm actually con concentrating on actually playing Minecraft today. Whereas in the last one, when I was building the bridge, I really wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> it's too busy fiddling with me face cam, mate. When do we get to see Mr. Runyon, says Lofty? Get to see him? You want to see Mr. Runyon? Uh, I wouldn't wish that on anyone, Lofty. Um, uh, <laughs> my only answer to that is, um, I don't know. To wait and see. You, you never know. That one's creepy, says Avoided Law. Why is it creepy? Someone in my Discord was saying how it was like nightmare fuel, this Smurf one. I don't get it. What's wrong with Smurfs? What's wrong with Smurfs? What you got against Smurfs, mate? Not the Smurfers, says Flo Foxy Plays. I think it was you, actually, wasn't it? Big Dre says, Pink Hair Princess. Oh, Jay's another one. Boom. This one actually came out as the thumbnail for my last live stream. YouTube, when you uh, upload a video, gives you, basically it scans through your video and it looks for things that it thinks would make interesting new, uh, thumbnails. And uh, it gives you three options. And this was like the only option that wasn't complete rubbish. So I had to use it as the thumbnail, which was fine. It was good because I do look pretty, I'm pretty good as a, like a pink long haired person. That's, that's me. I think it suits me as well. I think I'd get away with it, babe. I'm making it work for me, this style. I don't see the problem. It's an improvement with two without the filters, says Hanku. Wow, Hanku, that's mean. That's mean. Foxy finally comes out from behind the shadows, gives you all of his face to look at, hoping that you won't judge him too harshly, and then you say that Smurfs are better looking. Jeez. You should redesign the face filters to do a Mr. Onion once as well as uh, I think that you can create uh, custom ones. Basically, the the it's the snap cam one. There's loads of what it calls community ones, but I have no idea how you would go about doing it. Uh, the other, I also got, um, I got somebody, somebody, somebody words, things and stuff. Somebody recommended I get something called face rig, which basically is a similar thing, but you can, you, you're in, oh, hello. <laughs> your entire screen becomes, um, Oh, there's a creeper up there. Yeah, your entire screen or webcam thing becomes another character completely. So it completely takes over as this other character. It looks really good, but it's really expensive. It's like 50, 50 pounds just for that. And you wouldn't have anything. Whereas now you've got like my light, my nice background. I'm trying to convince Tiz to use it, says Cafone. What, the uh, face rig? Geez, I'm trying to understand a thing from Microsoft and watching the stream at the same time. It's really hard, says Zombie Kase. Well, just tell us what it is. I'll help you out, mate. It'd be fine. I didn't know YouTube put machine learning towards the thumbnail pick. I always thought it was a particular time percentage, says Citrus Things. YouTube do such crazy things. They analyze your video from start to finish for uh, words, They for visual cues. There's AI looking all over your video. It looks at the things inside your video and sees if it can determine what it is and therefore it will then uh, even if you never say a word in your video and don't put it in the title and don't put it in the description it will know what your video is about providing it can determine with the artificial intelligence what it sees within your video it's ridiculous the amount of processing that goes on youtube videos just before they go live crazy are you wearing a wig says uh throw the cat no i'm not it's a it's a filter mate it's just a filter i'm not wearing anything i'm bold mate They also defund the video without reviews, is fancy level. Yeah, they do that for you for nothing. Yeah. Right then. I think we should uh, perhaps, <laughs> maybe, just while we're building all this, do a little bit of lighting around the area because it is getting a tad dangerous over here. Right now, I don't really want all of this blowing up uh, while I'm building it, ideally, you know. At some point or other, well, it would be nice to get some decent lighting over here, some hidden lighting, some lighting fixtures, so we don't have to have torch spam everywhere. But right now, I think torch spam is the only thing that's going to save us. Oh, we got a pickle one. We got paranoid pickle. Where is he? <laughs> did we get a pickle one? Yeah, we did. 
Oh, and apparently that makes my chat come up as well. Somebody, somebody watching me? Mm, no, I don't think so. I'm just a pickle. Happy smiley pickle. I'm just a pickle doing pickle thick. Wait a minute. Somebody, some, someone watching me? No, I don't think so. I don't think anybody watching me. I'm just a pickle doing pickle things. And I'm just happy smiling and pickle doing pickle things. Picking my nose. No, I can't pick my nose. I can't pick my nose! Oh, wait a minute. I don't have a nose. Reminds me of the Snapchat potato filter, says Foxy Plays. I don't know what that is. Can you become a spud? Someone tells me Mr. Onion will be another version of this. <laughs> Mr. Onion's not really an onion. How many times I gotta tell you all? Jeez. He's a lagoon. <laughs> He's not a lagoon, I'm kidding. You don't even know what a lagoon is, mate. Foxy, did you get the Astrosaurus info put into Discord for you? They are Stephen, by Stephen Cole, couldn't remember last time. Uh, I did, actually, yes. I haven't had the chance to check it out, though. I meant to check it out this weekend because Oliver's been here and I, I was going to tell him about it, but I, <laughs> I forgot what it was and I couldn't remember where it was saved in the Discord. I think it's, uh, I think Mitz actually sent it to me in a DM, so I will check that out. So thank you for that. Uh, I, it's definitely something I am planning on checking out with Oliver. Angu says, lol RDP. Normally what happens is I say bye and go watch TV with partner and then the daughter wakes up, partner heads upstairs and I'm back at the PC. <laughs> what did Pickle says? Oh, Hanku says goodbye. We'll only be around for one more hour. <laughs> yeah, Hanku sneaks off. Thinks, thinks watching TV with his wife is more important than watching my, my live streams. How rude. So, okay, so you're getting the idea of what's going to be going on here. No, we haven't got a clue. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you don't have a clue. So, I think we need to bring it out a little bit further than this. Maybe a couple more blocks in each direction. But these, we're going to have a balcony running around the outside, right? Yeah, you, you, you're catching my drift. You're picking up what I'm putting down. We'll probably, around the outside of that, actually use stairs. But we don't want them, yeah, we want them that way around because they'll look better from the bottom. And then we'll be able to actually put pillars behind those and like walls and things and like, like that and make it look semi-decent. So we'll have nice pillars going up and uh, and then we can even have a staircase at some point. Maybe we could just put staircases in these, these curly bits, but I feel like we should have at least like a staircase going up somewhere. Maybe one at the back going up to this bit here. And then I don't know what to do for the floor. I'm almost tempted to do like on the floor here. Let's imagine that we've got a four wide walkway. In fact, it'd have to be a five wide walkway. The three in the middle have got red carpet on. And then the entire sec center section, like uh, polished black stone and quartz. So like a big black and white checkerboard floor, almost like a ballroom. Round the outside, round the outside, says Herding Cats. Watching TV part important. The keeping the missus happy is more important, says Hanku. Well. What about my feelings though, Hanku? What about me? It's all right keeping your other half <laughs> entertained, but what about me? What do you mean I'm selfish? Shut up. No, I'm not. You're selfish. So, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's the plan. Why is Foxy censored by Twitch, says uh, Foxy Blaze. What, what, uh, what's censored by Twitch? I don't know. Anyway, Pickle going away now. Say goodbye to Pickle. Goodbye, Pickle. Not, not you. Jeez. Oh, you're a Pickle now, says Phantom Music. No, I'm not. Well, apparently I am. <laughs> apparently I'm still a pickle. I said go away, pickle. Oh, jeez, I'm going to have to pick a different one. There we go. It's hard to focus on the game while it's being played by a talking pickle. I can imagine, I can understand that. I can understand that. I'm going to go to if my thing will work now. Nope, apparently all my scenes are broken on my stream deck, so I'm going to have to do it all manually. Great, there we go. Go back to the game mode. That's what I was trying to do. Jeez. What's your favourite vegetable, says Foxy Plays. Well, do you know what? That's a very interesting question because vegetables, I really like vegetables. I know I know some people have a bit of a bad relationship with vegetables. Vegetables are brilliant. 
I love a good parsnip. If a parsnip is cooked properly, they're absolutely gorgeous. Very, very tasty. I like carrots. Broccoli is probably one of the best things for you that's like your standard vegetables, unless you're going to get all exotic with this stuff that no one's ever heard of before that you find in the, uh, what they call Joe Wicks cookbooks, all of these. <laughs> vegetables, and I was one of those, I don't know. Celery, what? Yeah, um, I don't know. Peas, I love, a, I love a good pea. I like having a pea. Um... Yeah, like, I don't know. What's yours? Broccoli cheese soup times is fantasy novel. Why is Foxy set? I have to... Visions of Foxy being stuck as a pickle for the rest of the stream, says Herding Cats. My favourite is cauliflower, says... Wow, that's a that's a controversial opinion, that one. See, I like cauliflower, but it's definitely not my favourite. Definitely not my favourite. I'd probably say that's one of the... One of my least favourites, cauliflower. Personally. Personally speaking, from personal, no, personally. Broccoli cheese soup time sounds like a bad song, says fantasy novel. I'd be nervous about being a pickle when Beardstone is around, his victim. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Oops. I was counting one, two, three, four, five. So that would go along there like that. Very good, excellent, yes. Anyone else got any thoughts on your favourite vegetables? Anyone Anyone got some, oh, I don't like vegetables, or I really, really love this interesting but different type of vegetable? What do you think? Let me know. I thought Foxy didn't want to show his face, this Bobulus. Oh, this, isn't, this is AI. It's just completely computer generated. I'm used, I basically, uh, NVIDIA came along to me and they're like, hey, we want to give you loads and loads of money to try out this new facility. What it does is it completely generates a face based on your audio patterns that best matches your like real life face. And I'm like, yeah, go for it. I'll do that. Um, they're like, oh, you won't actually be you, though. It'll just be this completely ge computer generated figure. I'm like, no, that's fine. I don't want to show my face anyway. Like, OK, uh, where's your what's your bank account details? So I told them they filled it with millions of dollars. And now I'm the richest person doing fake face cam in the world. It's a true story. <laughs> You're right, I'm back, says Hanku. Yes, Hanku back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like uh, the, the thing's not switching back the way it should do. It should have gone back to that by now. Jeez. Big No One Egg Plank and Sweet Potatoes Yams. Oh, Sweet Potatoes, nice. That's from B Silver B. Vicar says, only vegetable I really like, think I like, is carrots. Nothing else comes to my mind, at least. Okay, fair enough. I think with vegetables, a lot of the time, it depends on how you cook them. So, like, you can have really tasty carrots, or you can have really bland, boring carrots if you've, uh, well, basically, if you don't cook them very good, I guess. Yes, Big isn't going back, and also Spin Me isn't working anymore, says Hanku. Let me check this for you. Hmm. Yeah, it appears that we're having some uh, issues with the old Leorum board. What's going on here? I had this earlier today when I was uh, messing with it. It wouldn't spin for some reason. Hmm. It's a bit weird. Not 100% sure what's causing it. Yeah, I can't even activate it from my end. Ooh, I've like, got more fiddling to do, I think. Got more fiddling to do. One day I'll fix it. One day we'll get it right. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah, spin me not working at all now. It's probably I can tell those ones are working. Why is spin me not working? Ooh. Hmm. What if I put it on that one there? Will that work now? One moment, please. Did it work? There we go, spin me's working again now. Wait, I'll give you a face. Oh, mate. There you go. Brush up, says Race Wrath. How cooked? True. My mum overcooked squash to see me, so I hated it inside. It's good, but how good it was not cooked overcooked. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. I'm feeling you on that one. Stop feeling me. I don't it's not, not like in the literal sense. It's just a joke. Oh jeez. 
Can't go around feeling people. It's against the law. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> it's an accident. Didn't mean to feel them. How can you not mean to feel someone? God, I can't believe I'm having to physically click. Oh, I missed my auto clicker already. Boo. Goodbye, auto clicker. Right, we need many, 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 many more stone slab floor things. Oh, my dog loves carrots. She's really shy and didn't like my brother. And then we found out she likes carrots. And now, let's just say she likes the brother and needs to lose some weight. What's your brother and carrots got to do with this? Is your brother a carrot? Very confused. <laughs> What's your brother got to do with carrots? Why did your dog suddenly like your brother because she decided she liked carrots? What? <laughs> Anyone else just 100% confused by that or have I read it wrong again? <laughs> I like onions. Those are great, says uh, Vicar. Yeah, the onions taste nice. Did you get a new keyboard, says Pickles? Yes, I got... Hang on then. One moment, please. I got the Logitech MX Keys. Ooh, which... Oh, jeez. Now I've gone to chat mode. And to accompany it, I got... Oh, now I broke it all. I got one moment, please. The Logitech MX Master Mouse. So they come as a set, and basically what it means is you can um, you can pass your keyboard and mouse from one PC to another. So I can control all of my PCs from one space just by uh, basically moving my mouse around. And they've got loads of functions built into them. However, I have a problem with it already. They You can connect them to your computer either using Bluetooth, which I have on my computer, and I originally had them connected with that, or you can use the little box, the uh, thing that comes with them in the box called the Logitech Unifying Receiver, which is like the official way to do it. Now, when I had it plugged in with Bluetooth, they didn't, they kept disconnecting. I kept big delays in messages. If I was playing Minecraft, like I'd be walking along like this and I'd take my finger off the keyboard and I'd just carry on going. And that kept happening to me in Stardew Valley as well. It was very frustrating. I thought, this is no good. Is this a problem with the keyboard? If it is, I'm going to send it back. But it turned out it was just because I had it plugged in with Bluetooth. So I, I plugged it in with the official uh, Logitech Unifying Receiver instead. The problem is now, though, is that um, it tells me, even though it's working, I can, you know, the mouse and the keyboard's working, otherwise I wouldn't be able to play. The actual Logitech app tells me it can't find any devices. I've already set them all up. I've set up the... I've set up all of the shortcuts with it. I've had it all in here, but it and it's just it tells me in device manager that the drivers are all broken, but it's working and I can't get it to not work or I can't get it to work. So I don't know how to get that back. So basically all of the hotkeys and the functions that I've plumbed into this incredibly clever mouse no longer work. So it's very frustrating. Very frustrating. Hanku says he's got the set as well. Uh, do you also have a, a method of making it work, Kanku? Because, uh, yeah, it's getting a bit frustrating now, to be honest with you. Little bit frustrating. One must one must admit it's driving me nutting, mate. Driving you nutting? You mean doing you nutting? Yes. I had a Logitech keyboard once. It was a solar powered. Eventually, the battery went bad and I learned the battery was proprietary. I bought the thing to avoid e-waste and made more instead, says Citrus. Citrus things. Hmm. How can a solar-powered keyboard work? You don't have a sun in your house. I've got a sun in my house. No, you haven't. <laughs> no one's got a sun in their house. Well, actually, on Spider-Man, no. No. No one's got suns in their houses, mate. There's Hanku gone again. I need it. I need his help to fix fix me problem, mate. My keyboard's broke. It don't work. Hanku says, I had the same issue. The Bluetooth issue was my PC Bluetooth driver on my laptop. Updated the driver and worked perfect after. I also had the app issue. Uninstalled the program, removed the drivers, unplugged the USB, reinstalled everything, and now it works perfect. Why do we have to do this? Why is that always the thing that you've got to do to fix it? Delete everything and it'll work. Well, if surely, if that's the case, why didn't it work the first time? Or why did it work and then break? Surely if I do that, it's just going to break again. Why would it not break second time round? I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't get it. Why? It's so frustrating. So frustrating. 
Like, does that mean I'm going to lose all... I spent hours putting all of the settings in and getting it just set up exactly the way I wanted it. Am I going to lose all that again now? Jeez. Why can't people just build things? And yeah, the, my, the problem with my Bluetooth is I'm using a... It's a basically a cheapo... Um, <laughs> cheapo Bluetooth wireless receiver thingy. USB one that I got off Amazon. I wanted a decent one, but it was the only one I could really find, and it was for plugging in uh, like an Xbox controller wirelessly to my PC. So I, it's yeah, it's not a very good one. So as much as I would rather it was all plugged in with Bluetooth, because then I don't need to have another thing plugged into my USB slots. Uh, if I yeah, I don't want to. I don't. It's not reliable. I'd need a decent USB thing, and I just ain't got one, mate. Foxy, there's a hydrate. Oh, jeez, I better drink then, don't I? There you go. Better? It is for me. I feel very nicely hydrated. Thank you. Now, I'm, I'm starting to get slightly concerned at this floor pattern that we've got going on here. I'm going to put some lights under it in a minute, but you can't really tell what's going on there. I feel like down the sides we should do something differently so it comes away or it's it's different from what we've got there let's get rid of all of those bits now, if you can think of something that would go better there i don't want it to lose or detract from the theme of the like the wood and the stone but if you could think of something else that would i mean maybe just like actual just andesite would be better down the sides there hmm i don't know I had the MX Master 2 mouse when I switched to the new Master 3. It broke the apps, says Hanko. Punished granite edges. Oof. No thanks, mate. I think I've just been sick. Polished granite edges? Are you on this planet? Hey, just uh, fill it with the most ugliest block in the world, man. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I I, I'll, I'll fix it at some point. It'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. I'll have to uninstall everything. Jeez. Jeez. Always with you having to uninstall my entire life. Just got everything perfectly set up. Oh, it all stopped working for no reason at all. Did you turn it off? Yes. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Bricks or granite would look good. Have face lot. I don't. I know. I. I don't like. I say the 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 aesthetic of this is the grey with the dark oak. I don't. I don't really want to bring another bright, bright colour in here. I think bricks and granite is way too off from the colours we've been using. We've been using prismarine outside, but I don't think prismarine would look very good. I I understand what you're saying. The bricks would probably look nice in certain situations, but I just don't think it's going to be. It's not really what I'm looking for for the the granite. I'll have a look, but I'm planning on putting red carpet in here. I just think it's going to look awful if I uh, if I slam a load of granite in there as well. But we'll we'll check it out. But I think I won't like it. Hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Pickles says bricks or granite would look good. Yeah, not with red car carpet. No. To be honest with you, if I'm doing this floor pattern, it's kind of pointless if I'm putting red carpet on top of it. So, I mean, what I'm doing now is pretty stupid, really. There's not, oh, hello, creeper. There's absolutely no point in me doing this. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe we don't go down that. I, I kind of think the red carpet would look good as a, a nice accent, accent, though. Let's just get rid of this creeper for a second. Job. Oh, that one hit. Nice. Weaker. No capes, says JCB. What? No red carpet, no capes. So, the other option is I could, like, just drop that down the side. And I think that looks better. Or would look better than um, granite. It looks cold and stony. Well, it will, until we get wall designs in, bookcases and all that sort of stuff. We're going to 3D up these walls. We'll have, like, timber and stuff going on. Don't worry. We're only at the beginning. This isn't the end. <laughs> Pickle says, "Suns in your house don't help with solar power. If anything, they get away of, in the way of the light." But he spelt it like your your child, sons. Yeah. 
comical, comical genius there, Pickles. Oh, Dark, oh, Dark Prismarine, says JCB. Just a thought. Well, that's what we've used on the roof. Um, no, I, I'm not feeling that. Sorry. Just not feeling it. Now, I'm not an expert level 99 builder. I'm not bad at building. I would. I mean, Mitz is always telling me, don't put yourself down. You do a really good job. But um, I wouldn't. still don't classify myself as a builder. So I, maybe like other people that are better at building, particularly Mr. Pickles, who I normally, you know, the things that he puts together are fab fabulous, but they're not Foxy No Tail. And that's what I am. So I like to do things my way, regardless of whether they look rubbish or not. Okay, jeez. And Foxy, your sleepy girl looks like she wants pets. Looks upside. She, no, I think she doesn't want disturbing at all. She's having a lovely sleep. I mean, have you heard the phrase, let sleeping dogs lie? Just let them, let them sleep. She's having a wonderful time being asleep. But definitely other rest of your building skills says pickles well thank you very much but, uh, um and i've read pretty much everything else if you're putting carpet down then i take it back says hanku yeah yeah i don't i don't like what i've done there but um it'll do for now just put fill in the edges with the these it'll all come together in eventually you'll see you'll see jeez we <laughs> definitely need some torches in this room Hey guys! No, go and explode. Whoa. As a general question, does torches create more lag than glowstone or light source? Tor light sources don't cause any lag. Changing light sources does. Like, if you've got a redstone lamp flashing on and off, that will create lag. Uh, but not, not like server lag. If you're playing on a server, it won't affect any of your server mates. It's just for you, your, your own device. Like, handling the light so if you run a really old device or if you've got quite a weak device then yeah lighting or having changing lighting will, would have quite an effect on it but for, for most devices you wouldn't even notice jcb says torches shouldn't create light but having flashing constant light update i just said that jcb jeez stop giving away my own advice heading off again see you says hanku jeez See you later, Hanko. Bye, mate. Pop some torches in here, because it's getting a bit dark. Who's going to get blowed up by creepers unless we turn on the light? There's a delay, bro, says JCB. Yeah, yeah. What, what an excuse. What an excuse. The delay. Oh, it's a delay. I'm not copying you, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to take my words and take my credit. Jeez. Can't have anything in this world. That JCB coming along and stealing it. Oof. <laughs> Look at that lag. That was big lag. Have you made Met Jade already? Excited for her joining TB, says Traz. I have not. I haven't been on TB since the last live stream. I've not. Um, I, I don't actually really know jade all that well i've i don't think i've ever interacted with her outside of well ever so um i'm yeah i'm, I'm absolutely excited for her to be joining always excited for new members but um i i yeah i'm assuming she's going to be wonderful but i unfortunately don't really know her very well hopefully we'll get to know her quite well as uh, as time goes on foxy your cam's disappeared why has my cam disappeared there you go what's going on there's ghosts in this pressing buttons. Miss is here. Hey, Miss. Stop. I'm trying to talk to Miss. Perfect opportunity to get to know her then. So, exactly. Yes. It definitely is an opportunity. So, yeah, very excited for uh, for new member. Very good. But uh, at this particular moment, I think she's obviously very good friends with Slack because she's from uh, Slackville and she's done a lot of stuff with Slack. So uh, imagine she's going to be hanging around with him quite a lot. But it'd be very nice to to get to know her as uh, as things you know come together and progress on the server, I guess. Who's the other new member? Says Pickles. What do you mean, other new member? What other new member? How many do you think we need? We, are, we already got one. We got plenty. One is more than enough. 
I mean, to be honest with you, JCB, if he was in my Discord the other day, did win Purple Goose, but she has turned me down, sadly. So, uh, thought we was going to be getting another one, but she's let me down, so that's not going to be happening. So, no, just Jade. Well, you were saying that you weren't looking. You were just saying that you weren't looking. Weren't looking for what? New members to TB. How awesome, says Dog Lover Girl. So there is a new member soon, says Mining. We just we just got Jade. Where did that? What? And it says, hey, Foxy. Hey, JC. Hey, Lawful. Hanku says, oh, geez, I'm back. Lucky Yo-Yo, the partner, is not happy. Oh, geez. JCB says, I got all three new members right last time, but I have no idea who this time. Trat says, the empty slot in stream weekend is Mr. Onion. Oh, there's an empty slot in stream weekend. I don't know. I don't have anything to do with organize those things. I did ask if I could organize stream things, and they were just like, I flat out, no. You, no. Because mm -mm. it would just be you and all your characters and no one else to get a look in. So, uh, yeah, mm -mm. I don't have any say in these things that happen. I just nod and smile and say, okay. Okay, guys. No problem, guys. If you say so. Yeah, don't look at me. What happened? What? What? I've, wait, ah, there. I knew I had bookcases somewhere. I knew it. Oh, I'll take some chain as well. Hey, Foxy, did you miss me? Says Emotive Book. Um, yeah, sure, of course. Hmm. Let me roll my face there. Sorry about that. Um, Mitt says, I've been here just lurking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you decide to get new members? Is it collectively after somebody put someone forward? Says Granny Gaver. Um, hmm, how do we decide on new members? We... We have meetings every couple of weeks. And sometimes in those meetings, well, we basically all have a, an opportunity to chip in with, you know, things that we want to discuss. And sometimes we've sort of, in the just in the Discord back chats, we'll have general discussions about certain things anyway. And sometimes things will just come out of thin air. And we've we always got, you know, we know that the people around the community, obviously we, we interact with people outside of this. We've got people on our own discords. We've got people on our own servers. We've got people that we just know from other things. Like I think Mr. Beardstone knows quite a few people from the, the collabs and stuff that he's done. Uh, like Do Not Die December, was it? No, Don't Die December. So there's always people sort of floating about in the community. And uh, we, the more we get to know people, I guess, the more... We can paint a picture as a as a whole of who we think would be a, a good fit for Truly Bedrock. And if we really like the look of somebody, or if we really think they're going to fit in nicely, or if we feel like we're missing we're missing something, or we need to fill a gap, or you know, or we're just really impressed by a particular person, then we'll we'll approach them and say, hey, you know, do you want to come play on the Truly Bedrock, mate? And then if they're like JCB, they go, nope, no thanks, mate. I didn't want to win Purple Goose anyway, and I get all sad and I cry a bit. But most people say, oh, yeah, okay, mate, thanks. I'll come play with you. But, um, no, oh, we, someone, Dean Puppy, can we go? Oh, I guess I turn it off. Jeez. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's basically it. But no, we all do decide together. We have, we, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite an elaborate voting system we actually got in. So if, if, for instance, one of us, any one of us, has a major issue with someone, they just won't, we, they, we wouldn't add them in. They'd be like, no, okay, this person's clearly got issues with one of our members. That's going to cause problems between us. So, no, they're not, we, we, we're just flat out not going to invite those. If uh, otherwise, it's like, you know, if you like this person, then then vote if that you want them to join. And if you're not too fussed, then don't vote, basically. And, um, and that's how it works. So we all kind of agree, but it's based on voting. Lofty says, I'll come play on TB. I don't, we, we, we couldn't unhack the influx of creepers if you were suddenly playing on here, Lofty. It'd be a nightmare. I'm really sorry. I'd love you to play on here, but it would, yeah, mm -mm, I don't think any of us could hack all of the creepers. Sorry, mate. We talking shops, says Jesse B. Well, they were just asking how we um, like make decisions and add new people in. So I was just trying to 
as vaguely as possible go through the uh, the process so that the people understand how it all works, really. He's giving away secrets as tis for truth. I'm not. It's lies. Don't believe him, Jesse. You know I'd never do it. Shut up, tis for truth. Bedrock on Java says EE76. This is Bedrock Edition. Purple Goose is Mike and Switch. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Uh, JCB's used up my only slot and she's denied it, so I, I won't be allowed another Purple Goose slot for at least another two months. Depends on how it rolls, really. If it's my, you know, if the RNG gives me another Purple Goose slot, then uh, I'll bear you in mind, but you, you will have to say it at the right time at the right place. Foxy's trying to hide the fact that Jesse B rules TB with an iron fist. It's pretty true. It's true, to be honest. I wasn't saying anything, Jesse. Don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I meant preferred version. Oh, um, depends on the day. Most of the time, I would say Bedrock just because it's my it's my home, Bedrock, now. I really, really like it. But sometimes, like, when I'm playing Sky Factory 4 and I just realize how much stuff that you could do in Java Edition that you didn't... You wouldn't be able to do in Bedrock in a million years. I remember how much I love Be um, Java Edition just for that. If we're comparing just vanilla, then absolutely Bedrock every day of the week, even though it's full of bugs and it's you know problematic. I still would much rather be playing Bedrock Edition vanilla than Java Edition. But when it comes to modded and stuff like that, as much as I enjoy making add-ons, I love making add-ons, I'm afraid Java just takes it. It's so much better. Me bring Kalipa's law, they wouldn't follow me if Foxy hadn't fiddled with the iron, iron fist as Jesse B. Dude, I've been loving your Sky Factory services, Breadstick Ninja. Well, thank you very much. Those episodes are so difficult to edit. I literally, most my TB episodes, if I've recorded over a few days and I've got a time lapse in there, maybe take me two or three hours to edit. And uh, there's not many clips, but it, I like to like do a good job and space them out nicely and make the music all fit in nicely. And I, I think you can probably tell the difference between a proper Truly Bedrock video and just a, any other video on my channel. But the Sky Factory ones are a nightmare because I do so much and I don't pay attention to how many clips I've already recorded. So I get to re I get to like come to put all of the clips together and there's like 50 or 60 clips. I've got four or five hours worth of footage of me just doing absolute nothing, just talking nonsense and having a good time. And then I got to whittle all that down into like a, a 30 to 40 minute video. I mean, I always aim for 20 to 25 minutes, but they never end up that long. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they always come out way longer than I expect them to, or than I want them to. But uh, and I'm cutting out so much. I literally cut out loads and loads and loads of stuff that you, you're just not seeing. And and I'm not doing a particularly great job of making it smooth, like together and and everything like that. Which I which is a shame because I should be putting maximum amount of effort into that as well. But I'd be there for days. Just editing one video because there's so much stuff. So I they're a little bit rushed in the edit, I will admit. But I think it all comes across anyway. And uh, I'm really enjoying just playing it. And to be honest with you, originally I was never going to do videos on it. I was just going to do it for personal fun, just to play on and do the odd stream from it. Just just to in include you guys. But um, no, I'm really enjoying doing the videos on it as well. So, so you're welcome, I guess. We got a face filter. The baby face filter. Okay. One moment, please. Where is it? Is it going to work? Here we go. Mom! Mom! She's not here. Don't know where she is. She's gone. I think she's gone pub. Again. She's gone pub with Uncle, Uncle Tim. It's not even my real uncle. They only started coming around the other day. Dad hadn't met him yet because he's working away. <laughs> As man says, hey, Foxy in chat. What did I miss? Missed me having a very small head. The new Tiny Tim says Mining 101. Have you seen the Tiny Tim video, says uh, Hanku. I have, actually. I've only seen a couple of them. It's just so cute, though, says Jesse B. I don't know about that. It's kind of freaky. 
Especially now I'm zoomed out a bit and you can see uh, more of my torso as well. Does the baby filter look like either of the boys did as a baby? No, absolutely nothing like them. No. I can show... Do you want to see baby photos? Oh, jeez. Hands up in the chat if you want to see baby photos. I can show you... Uh, I think it looks like Oliver with no hair, says JCB. Uh, I don't know. It'd be interesting to put hair on it and find out. Oh, jeez. If this, if we get a lot of hands up, I'll pause Minecraft for a minute and we'll uh, we'll have a look through some memory lane photos. Let's see if I can pull some photos up for you. Jeez. Things I get roped into doing. Many hands up. Dog lover girl. Skvlergskby. Pickles. Furious Rudy. Of you, says Carol. Jesse B. Tis for truth. Beam. Ow. Ow. Uh, dude. Dorsal Dawn. Lofty. Novel Media. B Silver B. Furious. D. Focus Coder. E76. E. Night Quest Simple. A Phipps. B Munch. Many people. I was thinking of Oliver too. Okay. Right. One moment. One moment, please. Let me just lay some of these slabs. And then I shall, uh, I shall see if I can find some. This is going to be a little bit awkward because I, uh, they're in... Oh, jeez. Hang on. I'm just going to switch away from my main thing so you can't see what I've got going on on my browsers because uh, I need to open my personal browser and I don't want it showing on screen. One moment, please. I've got to scroll back in time. 2014 is when Oliver was born. July the 28th. One moment, please. Can you still see me? I'll get some... When he was first born, he was a bit swollen because <laughs> he had a bit of a tricky birth. So I'll see if I can... Uh... Ah! Guys, no, stop. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I think I might need to log out. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I guess around about six months old would be a good point. Oh, jeez. Weird photos on here. <laughs> I'm trying to get to a point where he's sort of almost a similar sort of age to that. Maybe a bit older than that. Maybe a year old. Oh, I've got too many pictures made. Okay. Does that... Uh, you can't see that, can you? One moment. Um, is that one? I don't think I look like that. That's Oliver, about a year old. Are you scrolling through your Google Photos the last week? Some weird, some weird of the stuff, says Hangu. Yeah, absolutely. Some, you scrolled through my <laughs> Google Photos last week? Just full of cables, mine, says Hangu. Spot the difference, I give up. Now, I will show you something, if I can find something else as well, which will blow your mind. Bear with me. Bear with me a second. Let me go on to wide chatting again so you can't see me other stuff. One moment, please. See if I can find it. Got to go to me. Uh, I think it's on my Dropbox. Jeez. Possibly. Aha. Okay, right. Let me just get a slightly... Uh, one of older when he was a little bit older than that. Maybe about two. And I'm going to show you something that will blow your mind. What is it? A bomb? Yep. Uh... Hmm. Trying to get one of me and Oliver together. 
which is quite tricky, believe it or not. Oh no, that's a horrible photo. <laughs> It's just that, why do I have photos of the insides of cupboards? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, this one will do. It's a bit blurry, but you'll get the ha you'll get the idea. Are you ready? Oh geez, now I've shook everything and everything's gone small. Oh wait. Is there a way to turn it off? You know when you shake your mouse and everything just goes, like, minimizes? It's so annoying. I don't ever want that to happen. Right. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go back to the uh, the one where you can see it. No, not that one. Wide game? No. That one. If I pop that... No, where's it gone? There. Okay. Can you see that? It's me and Oliver when he's about to. I'll just shake the window and again it all comes back, says Hanku. Okay. I'm sure you could mess with the registry files and disable the mount shape minimize. Okay, so that's me and Oliver. Check this one out though. That's my dad and me. <laughs> That's not Foxy, that's Mr. Onions, the sweet juice bottle cup. <laughs> it's hard, I can only picture you bald, says Jesse B. I used to have loads of hair. I've got to turn this baby cam off now. It's freaking me out. OMG, twins, why do you look exactly the same? Yeah, so we both had blonde curly hair and I that and my hair went like dark brown and then almost black same as my dad's um Oliver's is still quite blonde at the minute your dad looks so much like my trainer but a little younger <laughs> you don't look like that anymore mate so yeah there you go right okay I'll find one more photo for you I'm gonna show you a big mistake I made <laughs> see if I can find it <laughs> Oh, how old would I have been? I have to go back a long way, I think. Many, many. I don't even know if I'll be able to find it. Uh, there's a, I, I, <laughs> how old would I have been? When I was 18, how many years ago was that? Jeez. A long, many, many. I don't even think my pictures go that far back. I might not be able to show you that. Oh, there's this one. <laughs> this isn't when I was 18. This is I wasn't much older than that. I think it was about 19 or 20. Where is it? Um, there we go. That's me at university. Hey, says he. Yeah, I've only been bald recently. <laughs> right, okay. One more. I bet you're getting bored now, aren't you? Oh, we're going past. Well, we're going a long way back. Jeez. I think I'm nearly at the part where I made a big mistake. <laughs> Back at school. I'm about 16 at this point here. <laughs> oh man, I've got to show you this one. <laughs> I was 15 here. Are you ready? <laughs> Jesse B says the stuff you're telling me you had hair on your face too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that hairdo. Amazing. <laughs> you're bald, what? I thought it was a filter, says Hanku. No, it wasn't Hanku, it's still a jewel. How long did it take you to get used to being bald? My hair's receding far too quick, I'm dreading the day. Uh, I'm still not used to it. It still surprises me every time I look in the mirror, to be honest with you, but uh, not much I can do about it, really. Not much I can do about it at all. Oh, if I, if, please tell me I've still got the photos on here. Oh, I don't think they're on here. Basically, I, uh, I decided to bleach my hair 
but I went way too far with it. <laughs> well, I didn't go far enough, I don't think. It turned out like Solero Yellow, if you know what a Solero is. I can't find the photos. It was around that sort of age. I'm sure I got the photos somewhere, but I, I can't see them just flicking through. There's a lot of photos that don't appear to be there. So you're going to miss out on that one, sadly. But you've seen... Oh, here's my... Um, I had this hair for a long time. Hang on. There we go. I was... That's how I looked for most of my... From around about 17, 18 to late 20s. Got my feet out on that one. You sure that's useless for your Judy? Yeah, it is, absolutely. Big old hair. That was just after Jack was born. I'm jealous of that hair, it's fluffy, says Jesse B. Something's missing now, some sweet dreams. Yeah, absolutely. Just a bit. I might look a little bit older than I did then as well. Just a, just a tad. <laughs> so I want all that bad looking <laughs> for a while, for a bit. Jeez, let's get back to TB. <laughs> the face looks the same. I'm not sure about that. I think you're very kind. You're very kind with that comment. I don't think I can agree. But thank you. Thank you very much. Feels like a hair reveal. <laughs> this is mining 101. Well, I didn't want to just settle for a face reveal. You had to have a hair reveal too, yeah? I did have hair once on his mate. Thanks for sharing the pictures, folks. This is lawful meeting. You're welcome. Unless that's what pictures are for at the end of the day, isn't it? What, what else do you take them for? It's pointless taking pictures and then just keeping them to yourself. Kind of voice. Oh, it depends on the type of photo you've taken, I suppose. Some pictures are very private. Some pictures shouldn't be shared at all. But <laughs> some pictures, yeah, I think most pictures are uh, generally there to be looked at, aren't they? Share your memories. They, they, you've only got one set of memories, and they're only like, you know, they last as long as your lifetime. Don't expect people to to look back at your memories when you've gone. So uh, you might as well make the most out of them while you're still still around. It's like you know, people write journals, and I don't know if any of you guys write journals. But I, I just kind of think, you know, what's the point? Because I'm the only person that's going to read it. It's private. And you think, well, you know, maybe when I'm dead, people will read through it and see what I've been up to. But they won't. People just want to move on, you know. They want to they want to forget and, and not have to, you know, deal with that sort of level of the emotion. So they'll, they'll move on and, you know, it'll just end up in a drawer somewhere and eventually just end up give, going in the bin, I guess, at some point or other after you, you're long gone and forgotten, which is a more, very morbid thought, but it's, you know, it's, I guess, reflective of the truth and to a certain extent. So, uh, but I, I, I like my computer. It's, there's so much of my life on my computer systems. I've been backed up pretty much everything I've ever had. All the websites I've ever made, all the photos I've ever taken, all of the, uh, anything, that all the artwork I've ever done is all there. And there's no one else is going to see it except me because there's no way... Once I'm gone, someone's like, my family's going to come around and boot up my computer and like, look at all of the stuff that I've made. But oh, look at all of these things he did while he was alive. It's not going to happen, is it? So um, I just know. I just think that, I don't know. <laughs> really? Jesse B says, you look exactly the same, just a few pounds lighter. Well, you think I looked li lighter then? I think I was probably, well, maybe about the same weight then as I was then. As in... How now you look as if you've lost weight, not calling you fat. Now, now you look as if you, you've. Oh, so you're saying I'm thinner now than I was then? Oh, I, I think that's the opposite. I think it's the angle of the camera. Asmans is well said. I used to have an online journal, then it got deleted. <laughs> Jesse B with the birds is because Jesse's like, no, not what I meant. Vicar says, one day a historian will treasure it. Purple Tree says, I'm the same. I have many external drives pickle says whatever you say ma'am i'm staying away from the iron fist <laughs> yeah v vicar stuff like the stuff that you do all of that fan art that'll be remembered you know that'll go around and 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 be celebrated because you're sharing it and i think that you know that's what the point i'm getting to really is we have all of these photos stored 
And they're just millions of them on these drive, taking up digital space, but not doing anything with. And even people that have them, like they print them out and have them in photo albums. They're just sat there, just gathering dust, not doing anything. Get them out, share them, put them on your walls, put them on your coffee table, lay them out when people come around, let people come and flick through them. They'll probably enjoy the, the process of looking at some of your old ones. And even the ones you're embarrassed about, share, the, share those. You know, it doesn't matter, does it? It's not going to hurt you or anyone else. And at the end of the day, you might get a bit of a laugh out of it and you might feel slightly less self-conscious than you did when you first got them out, depending on the reaction and who you show them to. So, yeah, I just think I think you um, should celebrate these things rather than just keeping them away in our drawers, basically. Jesse B says, My old online blog on my PC and all of my old photos, I've always been weird about sharing to keep everything. Yeah, same. It's only just like this revelation's really just come to me during this live stream, really. And just, just thinking about it as I'm thinking, or talking about it as I'm thinking about it. Never really, really put too much thought into it before. But um, I guess now I'm kind of forced to. Thank you, says, Hall of my photos... Half of my photos are service cables and data centers. Yeah, half of mine. One of the reasons it took me so long to find it was all my work photos of factories and machines and things that are not particularly interesting or useful. And the other half, <laughs> selfies to see why, you know, oh, I, I can feel there's a spot on my face, but I can't see it well enough in the mirror. So I'll take a photo from it of an awkward angle. So as you like blurred looking into the, the camera trying to see this like blemish on your face or on your back or on your head that you're trying to deal with a lot of my photos are those does anyone else have those or is that just me jcb has to go fun time as always good night good night jcb thank you very much for coming as usual jcb says vicky you and your art are amazing one day you'll be able to look back and see all of the progression yeah absolutely my style's way too dumbed down, she says. I don't think so. I disagree. Thank you, says, yeah, pretty much. It's far too easy to take it with a phone. It's far too much of a pain to go back and delete them all. Yep. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. Right. Okay, peeps. We'll get in there. We now have a hole in the floor. This is good news. I feel like it might be... So I'm imagining this room is obviously... I mean, it's the castle. It's going to have to have, like, a throne in it. I'd like to have some, like, tables as if there's, like, a, you're having a feast. And at the back over here, the big chair, right? But would it be better sunken down? Would we? I just thought about this right now. Would would it look good? And I know we're going to use like quartz and um, blackstone, but it would be. Would it be better sunken down, or would it be better at the same level? I feel sinking it down might be a bit weird. We could maybe run a line of stairs around the outside and bringing it down to this level. I kind of like that, but I don't know. Jesse B says, oh, I absolutely have those sorts of photos. Sink it down, says DT Lay. I'm thinking about it. Oh, do you get it? I'm thinking about it. Right, let's grab some polished blackstone. I don't think I've got any quartz at the moment. Can anyone remind me of any other type of white slab? We could always do... Uh, andesite or polished andesite slabs instead of quartz i don't think i've got much quartz at all might have some quartz Ooh, eric banster thank you very much for the raid raised edges with the armor stands in the armor holding swords a raised platform at the end for the throne says uh thank you well i'm gonna be doing my chat's gone small again i think one moment please i oh, know it hasn't it's always that size my eyes have gone small i think um Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I can't remember what I was saying then. Polished diorite, says uh, Skater Dad. Oh, polished diorite might work. That might work. Oh, we're getting many lags. Many lags. What was I about to say to Hanko? I've forgotten. I can't remember. Well, we're going we're gonna to slap a load of torches around, first of all. First and foremost, we need to do the torches. Make it nice and light. One, two, three. One, two, three. Court slabs to Strider. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many I've got. I don't think I've got many at all, to be honest with you. Well, I'll go check it out in a minute. 
quartz. I, it's one of those things. You, you gather a load of it, but then you use it all. <laughs> Which is obviously the point where you gathered it in the first place, but then you find you've got literally nothing left. Oh, what have I done wrong there? Huh? Oh, I see. How did I do that? Because you're an idiot. Well, uh, I'm very confused now. Don't think it really matters how perfectly spaced out the torches are, but I want them perfectly spaced out, okay? Jeez. I already see the progression. Since last year, I improved a lot and I'm more confident with my lines, but my style still do be really dumbed down. I love your style. I think it's brilliant. I absolutely love your... The, the, they just look... They look like like professional stickers to me. I want to. I really want them just to stick on things. I <laughs> really want them. I love them. I think it's brilliant. It's, uh, it's the best. There's a lot of really, really good TB fan art out there. In fact, there's a lot of just good fan art that I've seen out there, but it's the best ones that, to, for me personally, for my tastes, I, I like them the most. And that's not putting anyone else down. That's just saying how much how much I adore them I love them okay you've just gone mental now with all those holes yes I want this floor to be nice and light don't want any creepers creeping in me throne room they look like amazing stickers to Jesse B yes of course my computer crashed as furious Rudy bet that makes you furious doesn't it Get it, mate. Right, I'm going to replace all of these ones with stairs. These are going to be stairs instead. Right, peeps. Have you got any questions? Let's do a bit of a Q and A. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's just, add, just, just ask questions, okay? Vicar R ah, is literally my entire desktop. Oh, art, ah, I think that's supposed to say. I am a bit of a Vicar fan curl at this point, says Jesse B. Yes. I may have spammed it on every single one of my uh, Stardew Valley videos. Guy says, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you very much for asking. I, was, um, I thought I was going to be a bit tired today. Oliver's, uh, Oliver's come to my house with a little bit of a snotty nose. He's got a bit of a cold, and I do think he's... Uh, passing it on to me i felt myself feeling a little bit runny this morning but um i'm all right now i'm fine i thought it was going to be thought it was going to be uh, a bit of a one of those where you end up having a cold for a couple of days and not feeling 100 percent. but i feel fine so that's good news it's good news good news everyone Why did you start on YouTube Twitch? Well, Mitz has literally just put in my origin story there for you, so I don't have to spell it out for the 450 millionth time. But thank you very much for the question anyway. I'm not putting the question down. It's a very good question, but we have gone over it a lot. So feel free to uh, to check that out on the, the stream comment thing. After the castle, what's the next TB project, says Jesse B. I'm quitting after the castle. I thought I told you that. But you just wanted me to say it publicly. I'm kidding. Um, I've got stables. I want to do stables over here. Big stables and a big arena -y area over there. And a big mages tower as well. At the Out around the castle, I need to do all of the grounds and stuff like that. I have no idea what I'm going to do with any of those things yet. But those are those plans. Other than that, I don't have any plans yet for the base. I do want to... Uh, to well, my plan was always to dig down and make dungeons underneath kind of somewhat reflective of my Infinity Dungeon map. I'm sure I'll be bringing a few of those dungeons back to life. Maybe making a mini game out of it for the other members as well. That would be fun to do. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the plan. It's The problem is time, whether or not I'll get time to do all of these things. Mm, Jesse B says, what's your favorite game? Why can I not fly? What? Oh, there we go. What's your favourite game to play with Jack recently? D to be honest with you, um, we've not. Me and Jack have not played too many games recently. He's uh, he's very much enjoying doing his own thing at the moment. Although I would like to do more stuff with him, but it just never seems 
that we can align our interests uh, in order to do stuff. I mean, it's me and Oliver generally doing more of the gaming. At the moment, we've been playing things like uh, Mario 3D World. Um, he's He still likes Mario Rabbids. He started playing Animal Crossing now, which I hate because he makes me read all of the things and it's the reading in it that drove me insane in the first place. What's he saying now, Dad? He's saying, do you want him to tell you about the thing that you're taking? So, uh, yeah, that just angers me. It angers me a lot. <laughs> I don't know really other than that there's uh, there's all sorts really i guess we've got we i think what i really wanted to do is uh, for christmas i wanted to get him an xbox series s so that this is jack i'm talking about so that because he lives away from me he would be able to get game pass on it and i'd be able to get one with game pass on it and would be able to because on back before covid existed every tuesday night i would go over to his town where he lives and we'd go swimming or we'd go and do an activity and then we'd go out for tea and it was nice we're not we've not been able to do that at all since covid we'd have no tuesday night things at all which is a real shame because i really miss that time with him. i really miss the bonding thing with him so i said for christmas i'll get you an xbox series s with game pass and then on the tuesday night we'll just take that night off in order to to play together and he's like yeah that sounds like a really good idea dad but then I couldn't get one because there was just unavailability everywhere. So I, I had to get him a different Christmas present in the end, which meant that now he's got something else. And I, I can't really then justify going, hey, hey, son, <laughs> have an Xbox Series S as well and Game Pass for a year. So, uh, yeah, that just never came to fruition, really. So we're still not really doing anything on Tuesday nights, which is a bit of a shame. Haha, <laughs> Ethan does that with Pokemon Dungeon, drives me nuts. Yeah, I told Oliver he's not allowed to play Pokemon games literally for the reason that in, I said, until you learn to read on your own, then you're not playing Pokemon games because I'm not reading them all for you. And he's like, but I really want to play it. No. So he's trying really hard to, to get his reading up. He's doing pretty well, to be honest with you. But he's uh, obviously the big gaps in schools and stuff this year has set him back a little bit. But uh, he's getting there. He's slowly starting to read the stuff on Animal Crossing himself, but uh, not 100%. But there's a lot of big words in that. Oh, we've got 22 sl quartz slabs. I don't think that's going to do it, mate. Jeez. Oh, I know what we can use instead of quartz. Uh, we'll take the quartz anyway, but we can use uh, smooth stone slabs. That might work off. Okay. I was, I was 60 mine con short to buy the maps, says Furious Rudy. Well, Furious Rudy, you've just reminded me of something. We are, how long have we been streaming for? I don't have a stream timer anymore. Um, it says one hour, 43 minutes. Who, oh, geez, hang on a minute. Who fancies a giveaway in order to be able to win 1,720 mine coins? Where's my stream labels app gone? Did it close? Oh, it's there. No, it's not closed. It just minimized when I shook my mouse. That would be fun, says Mike on Switch. Okay, well, we're going to do it through the Steam Labs, yeah, Stream Labs custom giveaway thing. I'm going to put it on for a 15 minute timer. You'll get, the should, you should get stuff coming up in the chat that uh, allow you to basically purchase raffle tickets with your. I think you can just get them. I don't think you have to have to purchase them. I think if a, as a subscriber you get an extra ticket. Yeah, ticket costs are zero. Minimum, maximum tickets are one. Oh, I ought to put two, I guess. Oh, you get five bonus tickets as a subscriber. So yeah, there we go. So if I save that and then I do start giveaway, you should now start getting some things in chat telling you all about the raffle. There we go. Streamlabs. And 1,720 mine coins for all platforms. Digital go giveaway. Raffle starter viewers use the command raffle. One to two to enter the raffle. Each ticket costs zero Foxy points. So there you go. Free mine coins just for you because I'm very kind and I like giving things away. You're welcome. And you can obviously use those mine coins to go and buy Infinity Dungeon if you haven't already and spend it and enjoy playing the game. Yes, it's what you should definitely do. I think the uh, the smooth stone there looks very nice. I don't think we need the quartz there at all. I mean, the quartz is good, but it does look a little bit too bright. I think I'm going to go with the smooth stone. 
and we'll see how that looks overall. This is a like a medieval castle. It's not. It would be nice to have the quartz. Just have that little bit of shine to it. Oh, I know where we used all the quartz. We used it in the um, the hotel, I think. Maybe. I stepped away. What's the raffle for, Sis Pickles? It's for 1,720 mine coins. It's a giveaway. I'm giving stuff away for free. Because I'm nice like that, you see. Also, I think quartz looks too bright, says uh, Jesse B. Well, I'm glad you agree. I think the edge on the smooth stone gives it a really nice sort of, well, edge, I guess, and, and next to the black stone, which kind of works for me. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Hello, skeleton. Now, thank you for spawning where there's lots of light. Good job, sir. Allow me to give you a good old whacking ah, and fall down this hole. Thank you. Oh, we've 110 tickets given out so far. 110, believe it or not, to a total of 27 people. You don't have to be a subscriber to get tickets, you know. Anybody can get tickets. You just use the uh, the command raffle in the chat and you'll get yourself onto two tickets. 115 tickets now to 29 people. This is exciting stuff. Got 12 minutes and 42 seconds left. If you do the if you do the win, if you become the wither, if you become the wither. I'm done, mate. I'll see you later. I think I just won that one. If you become the wither of the competition, <laughs> it's amazing, Foxy. Nice of you to do a giveaway. You're welcome. You're welcome. I want to do this more regularly. It does. I do have to pay for the mine cons. They're not free. I don't get them for nothing. But I, I just I feel like it's something that's not particularly expensive for me to be able to give back to the community and give people, you know, something something useful and relevant you know so i i could i'd love to give away merch problem with merch is obviously a it's very expensive to get hold of but it's also very expensive to ship it worldwide this is the digital code i can give it away for free it's amazing so yeah i'm really uh really looking forward to do doing a few more of these regularly i got three to do all together i got three lots of tickets so far you can only buy two sets at once so um yeah i got three because i had one left over from the last one so if you are if you are the winner of today's raffle, we'll find out in 11 minutes and 33 seconds time. Then uh, you make sure to contact me after the stream, probably through Discord. If you can't get hold of me directly, then feel free to uh, come through Mits. I'm sure she won't mind me saying that, and I will send you the code for your mine coins, and you can have them all for your very own. You're welcome. Smooth stone looks really good with the black stone. It notes that down, says Carol. It doesn't look bad at all, does it? So that's like kind of the floor. And uh, someone mentioned having a raised up section for where the throne is. I think that's a good idea. The only problem we're going to have now is like putting tables and chairs in this thing is going to be difficult because they're all bottom slaps. But I'm not going to not going to get bogged down with that. I'm worried about that. What I do want to do is look at maybe how we can possibly make the walls kind of 3D-ified. <laughs> 3D-ified. It's a word made, honestly. Look it up in the dictionary. I didn't make it up at all. You made it up and i think i'd like to put bookcases and things in as well i think we need a lot of bookcases to do what i wanted to do though kind of wanted to like do that entire thing with bookcases i think trap doors are going to be our friends here as well and obviously we want uh lighting fixtures coming down well lots and lots of lamps coming off here lanterns and things like that and just really trying to make this area look as interesting and different as possible so it's not just all stone walls now we could probably put some fences down the sides of things like that that would help in order to make that feel a little bit less what a little bit more 3d a little bit less flat and then we could fill this middle bit up with something in there i do really like the floor i may have to borrow that next time i want to do a checkerboard pattern you're welcome you can have that with pleasure need to go dm me if i win says tim mindstorms we will do indeed. I'll uh, I'll put a I'll put a post out in the Discord for the winner if the person isn't still in the chat when it's uh, when it's over. Andy Dizzy's here saying, "Hey, how's everyone? Hello, Andy Dizzy. Welcome. We got a we got a twin face filter. I've gone beautiful again. O M G. If only I wasn't so deep voiced when I was so beautiful. Well, that was weird." Sort of lost it for a second there. Oh, put my hand over my eyes. Ah. 
Thanks for taking part in the raffle, everyone. I really appreciate it. I like giving things away, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Foxy's twin. Hello, all, says Blue Guys. Streamlabs telling Furious Rudy off, deleting his message there. Saying, no need to shout. Ah, creepy, says Furious Rudy. We have now 33 people signed up for the raffle. 133 tickets given all. I have 8 minutes and 32 seconds left. I'm quite excited. I'm looking forward to see who wins. I think we're going to need a fixture to attach those lights for, but that's actually hanging off a half slab, so there's nothing there. So we need to do something about those. What I might do... Hey. Dude. Dude, like bro, I'm in the middle of stuff and all that and things, mate. We'd appreciate it if you didn't just like coming and getting me, mate. We might need to think about how we're going to make that walkway a little bit less flat. We also need to consider the uh, the pillars that I was saying we're going to be having up going up as well. And I think the pillars, I'm going to do a mixture of the chiseled stone and the 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 this stuff as well, the and andesite. I think I might do an andesite there like that. A couple of chiseled stones in there and then maybe another andesite on top of that. Possibly. I don't know, actually. I've changed my mind. Maybe just chisel stone at the bottom and then polish andesite all the way up to the top. See how it looks. Maybe the chiseled at the top as well. Possibly. No, missed. Kind of feels a little bit lacking. We need to think about those. Raffle? I came in late, said Blue Cat Eyes. We're giving away mine coins. Not knowing what raffle is for, but entering anyway. We're giving away mine coins. We're giving them away, giving away, giving away now, mine coins. Trapped all around one block, says uh, Pickles. Yes, if only I had those nice stone trap doors that we got in Infinity Dungeon. That would be useful. Very useful right now. I think I might have a see what this looks like stripped as well. That might look a bit better. To get it stripped, by Yes. And possibly, 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 let's bring out another layer to that as well. And then, what we can do is we can grab some trapdoors and go to sleep as well at the same time. This would be a good idea. Multitasking, sleeping, and getting trapdoors. Because I'm so beautiful. I wish we could use the offhand like in Jama, says DT Lay. Well, if we had everything we wanted, then we wouldn't want anything, would we? And that'd be boring. So you should be thankful that you haven't got anything that you want, and therefore you can want things. Wanting things is good. It doesn't make any sense. Yes, any senses. Oh, we have the girl fox now, says Jesse B. The beautiful Foxy. This is Foxy 2.0, the 100% improvement. It's how, I, how it should have been from the start. My uh, my mother, my mother, right? <laughs> that woman that gave birth to me and all that. She uh, she thought, or they believed strongly that I was going to be a girl. And they even painted all of my room and everything ready to be a, uh, yeah, a girl's room. My original name. Oh, I can't tell you because I'm not allowed to tell you my name. This will tell me off. It was uh, a girl's version of what I am. So my actual name is a derivative of what it is now based on it should have been a girl's name <laughs> but it is a boy's name and uh yeah so i think i was always destined to be a beautiful lady on the internet <laughs> flower pots and trap doors says jesse b <laughs> is raffle one closed as new champion no it's still open raffle's still open you video call your parents with his filter runs as Lord Dragon. That's a good idea. So Lloyd said your real name in video once in season one. What is it, Furious Rudy? If you tell me, I'll tell you. I'll let you know if you're right. I don't think it's a, a problem. Give it, I think I'm sure I've said it on the internet before. Loads of YouTubers give away their first name, don't they? My dog sure loves to jump up on my bed right where my laptop is. His dog lover girl. Mark, says Furious Rudy. No. <laughs> it's not Mark. Good job. My secret is safe. 
Uh, let me tell you my secret identity. What if? What if? No. No, that looks awful. It looks horrible, mate. No. Take me to in the way now. Alex can be a girl name or a boy name. Are you Alex? There's, no, it's not. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but you have away your last name when you talked about your <laughs> your mum, says uh, Pickles. That's true. Hanku says, you can't run a raffle more than once. You have second t seven tickets. Good luck. It's Foxy Lol, says Millsy. Was it Foxy Bushytail? Yes. What about Jamie, says Smoking Dragon? No. Space needs a painting. It needs something, doesn't it? It definitely needs something. I'm not sure about the bookcases. I don't like the oak against the dark oak. I think we need, I think maybe just some shelves or somewhere like like an armor stand or something like that. Maybe we could just have some like uh, chains coming down across the sides. Oh, I know, an iron bars. Iron bars always look good in medieval settings. We could grab some iron bars and put them in there. An armor stand, says Asman, yeah. It's funny, my mum was convinced I'd be a boy, so she picked out Jesse. When she got surprised, she was like, well, Jesse it is. Ah, well, at least, yeah, that one works as well, doesn't it? So you, you've, got a, you've got a boy's name, and I, I got a converted girl's name. We're doing well. <laughs> We're very diverse here at Trudy Bedrock. <laughs> I don't think that's the definition of being diverse. Ah, oh, it'll do for me. It's fine. My man thought I was going to be a girl. It's all good. That was a long. That was a lot of iron I just wasted. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's fine. What I need all that iron for anyway. Ooh, Jamie's a good name. If I ever kids, I think I'll call one Jamie. Says uh, Dog Lover Girl. Ravager Snow Farm is the best snow farm. Says Furious Rudy. I'll take your word for that. I would have had a good laugh had it been Alex having the same name as Foxy. Says Blue Cat Eyes. We know your name now. We know you're Alex. Oh, jeez. We just know too much. We have too much information. They take slightly too long to mine, those, uh, <laughs> those chains. <laughs> I think we're going to break them. Right, we've got 1 minute 26 of the competition. If you do not have your raffle tickets already, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get them. Get your raffle tickets now while you still can. While there's still time. Before the clock runs out. Th there's 116 people watching this live stream and only 37 people have got raffle tickets. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get yourself the raffle ticket. Do it. Do it now. It's the future, I'm telling you. Oof. It's not what I wanted to do at all. Oof. Not what I wanted to do either. I don't know. I'm just messing about here with some ideas of like maybe like a bit of a janky broken up thing there like that. I don't think that really works particularly well. But we, you got you know what we're getting on with. We we got some ideas coming from these things. It'll be fine. We'll sort it out, mate. We'll sort it out. It'll all be good in the end. You know what I mean? We'll get there. I can't believe it's taken us two hours <laughs> to place in this here and that floor. Jeez. Time goes slow when you're doing live streams. Or time goes fast, maybe. I don't know. One, one way or the other. What have we, are we supposed to be looking at photos? I've been messing with my audio because I messed all that up at the beginning. What else have we done? <laughs> what else have we done? It feels like we've done absolutely nothing. Oh, the raffle is over. It says pick a winner. Are you ready for this? I will do this in front of you all so you can see that I'm not cheating. Gonna hit the pick winner button. Syllagel, you are the winner. If you would like to contact me on Discord, if you can't get hold of me directly, then uh, please do contact Mitz and uh, we'll get you your code sent over. So there we go. We have completed that raffle. There will be another two of those coming up over the next few, well, next week or so. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And if they go, if they're successful, then maybe even do some more after those as well. Well done, Syllajul. Can we get a GG in the chat? and Many, many emotes for Syllajul because I think they deserve it for doing such good winning. 
rigged, says Trouse. You quite clearly could see it's not. I press the button, it gives me answer. <laughs> I mean, if it was rigged, it would have been me that won, right? Or Big Chicken or Mr. Onion. <laughs> it's certainly, certainly not, uh, not how I intended it to go, mate. Rigged, I call rigged, says Sweet Dreams Book. I'm so sorry. You think it's rigged? My bad. I've done, a, I've done a bad job of being a, a raffle host. Don't worry, peeps. I won't ever do any more raffles ever again. Okay? You're welcome. What about some tapestries? Is Dorsal Dawn. Can you make tapestries in Minecraft? Would you mean like just different wool blocks there? We could do. I think there's some serious uh, messing about and uh, and looking at different things outside of streams and videos to get our heads around what's going to be going on with this. But I think we're onto something. We're getting somewhere with it all. We're getting nearly there. I was joking, Foxy and also Sweet Dreams. I know you was. I know. I know. Or just banners, says Dorsal. That's not a bad idea, actually. Banners are a pretty good idea. However, unfortunately, it is that time of the live stream where I will say that I'm going to disappear and go and leave you. So I'm going to hit that roll credits button. Let's hope this actually works. Oh, by the way, this thing down here, do you like it? The like, rotating McJobby? Do you think it's good? I think, I think I do a good job, mate. I'll try my hardest. It took me ages to make that. I think you'd do a good job with hosting a game show. The next Alex Tribex is Pickles. Thank you very much. Love your trees, says Jesse B. Thank you for the stream, says New Champion. Thanks so much, Foxy. Wow, I love the background. Great stream, Foxy. I was just going to say, I was going to leave. I was just going to say I was going to leave. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I like the rotating thing. Good. Excellent. Right, Pete. Um, if your name just scrolled on the screen, by the way, then it's just there. Thank you very much for your extra hard work, effort, and support in supporting me and my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. And if it didn't, but you're here watching anyway, so a big thank you to you anyway just for being here. So thank you so, so much. It is time to go. Let's see if there is a raidable person. I'll click on my raid button. We have JCB playing No Man's Sky. Should we go over to JCB? Let's do this. We'll start a raid. And you guys have a wonderful time. I'm going to disappear, go to bed, and hopefully uh, all of us... Not still awake. Jesse B there saying, I do like the McJobby. Well, thank you, Jesse B. See you later, guys. Bye. With my end screen. <laughs>